In this video, I'm going to show you how I journal on the iPad and the iPhone using the Drafts app and Apple Shortcuts. The best part, you don't need another monthly subscription for a journaling app. Hello everyone, I'm Will aka Notion Dad. Before we get started, the two apps you'll need for this video are Drafts and Shortcuts. The links are in the description. Make sure they're installed on your devices and then come back here for the rest of the video. The first tool we're using is called Drafts. It's a simple text editor, but can be expanded to be so much more. It uses the markdown syntax to be compatible with all the other apps. And there is a paid version, but the free version will be enough for creating our journal. When you open Drafts, you'll be presented with a blank page. By default, this happens every time you open it after about 60 seconds. So you open it up, do some typing, close it, 60 seconds later, open it again, it'll be a blank page. That's one of the cool things about drafts. For now, we will write a test journal entry. Step one, write the date at the top. So the format I use is, it's the year, so YYY, hyphen, and then the month, hyphen, and then the day. And then I write at, and then the hours and the minutes. So the reason I do this is because when you export your journal entry later, that's what our text file is going to be called. If we put all our journal entries into a single journaling folder on iCloud, for instance, then we can order them by name and that will be the same as date order. So step two, let's have a look at the tags. So drafts doesn't really work with a folder structure like other things like Notion. Instead, it makes use of tags to organize your data. When it comes to journaling, I like to add tags that represent any people I've mentioned in the journal entry. Uh, so this makes it easy to search for them later if you want to have a look back on your memories. So you could use tags for whatever you want. So people, you could use it to track your mood instead. Um, you could use it to track location, but we're gonna be using a location feature in a minute. So we'll have a look at that in just a second. To add a tag, click the tag button at the top of the page. So I tend to wrap my tags in these little um, quotes and that's because it's left over from, I was journaling with a different app before. Uh, I think I was using day one and then I moved to the Android version, whatever that might be. And the way it, it added tags was with these quotes. So I'm just keeping keeping it the same as I've always done it. Um, so you can use whatever tagging system you want, but this is how we're gonna do it. And I don't have spaces either. So it's not ideal, my tagging system, but this is the way I'm gonna carry on until sometime in the future I will. I'll change it all up. And so that is a very quick walkthrough of the Drafts app. Just it opens up, you do some typing, um, and then we've got some menu options that we're gonna have a look at in a minute. So next, we want to have a look at how to get a journal entry template into Drafts. And to do that, we are gonna use the Shortcuts app on our iPhone or iPad. Step three, Shortcuts. So the Shortcuts app is built into iOS. So you can uninstall it. So just make sure you've got it installed again. And some people have taken this app to the extreme and they've automated so many things on their devices. I have not, you'll see in a second, I've just made this um, single automation to make my journal entry. Open the Shortcuts app and click the plus button to create a new shortcut. We want to add the current date to start. Search for the word date and add the one that just says date. That will automatically be set to get the current date. Now we want to format it. So search for format in the search bar and choose the one that says format date. We're gonna to want to use a custom format for this. So we're gonna set it to YYYY hyphen MM, so the M's are capitals, hyphen DD, those are lowercase. Then you add a space and then a single quote, write the word at, close the quotes, another space, HH, which are both capitals, then a space, MM, which are lowercase. So that gives you your your year, hyphen month, hyphen day, and then the word at, and then it gives you your hours and minutes. Now, we want to get our current location. So again, in the Shortcuts app, search for location and choose the one listed as get current location. You can then set your precision. So I've set mine to nearest 10 meters, but it does mean that the shortcut takes longer to run because it's trying to find a really precise location. I think there is another one above above this, which is even more precise, but 10 meters usually gives me the right address and basically where I am. The final content we want to add is the Apple Maps URL. So search for get maps URL from, 
and we're going to use this action and we're going to choose to get it from the current location. So we have our date, time, location and map URL. Now we need to get our shortcut to create the draft. Search and choose the action called create draft in inbox. You can add a journal tag here too to differentiate it from your other drafts. We want to bring in all the variables we've set so far. So we're going to choose the variables from the bottom of the screen. We're going to add the formatted date, the current location and the maps URL. Then finally add the open draft action. We want to make sure that the create draft in inbox action isn't shown when run. That just keeps it out of the way and we don't have to click a little confirmation button. Now we can add our shortcut to the home screen and then we're going to run it for the very first time. We have our very first journal entry. We can write anything we like in here. You could set up your shortcut to add some prompts in there maybe, um, but I like to have mine blank because I generally just write something that happened that day. We have our journal entry filled out. Now we want to export it. If we're using the free version of drafts, we can use the built-in save to files action. This works well, but it means we'll lose our tags unless you're planning on keeping everything in drafts, in which case, you can skip this section altogether because you're done. You've made your journal. If you pay for Drafts Pro, then you can create your own action that will keep the tags. So swipe left to bring up the actions menu. And we're gonna create a new one. I'm gonna click the plus button to add new action. Then we're gonna add a single step to our action. That is the export step. In the title section, we want to use the title of our draft, which we created, so that will be our date. So to add this to every journal entry, we use the two square brackets and write the word title. Inside the content box, we add two squares, so we're going to open the two square brackets and write the word draft and close it. And then we're going to leave a couple of lines, and then we're going to open the brackets again and write the word tags, and then close that. This will take the tags that we made in the Drafts app and it will add them to the body of the text file itself. Now we just select where to save our journal entry and we are done. It may seem like a long process, but in the future, you will just have to click your new journal entry button that is on your home screen and it will make a new journal entry for you and then you can start typing and either export then or later or not at all. If you like this video please like and subscribe. You can find more tutorials like this and Notion templates over on notiondad.com.